What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Fargo, and this is one exciting day because yours truly over here is getting some major love. And the implications of the sneak peek that we're about to see are astronomical because all the characters that you see down here at the bottom, any one of them could also get an upgrade. So let's go ahead and watch this trailer, guys, because this is sick. You see it? You see it? Nice. Nice. Oh, my God. Now, if you guys look here, if you notice here, you Eagle Eye viewers out there, you see Tier 4. And, yeah, so this is why Venom is going to skyrocket in World Boss because he's going to have the level 80 Tier 4, right? He's going to be able to destroy. I never even Tier 3 this character because at the time, I just, I mean, whenever this update happened, right? And I don't want to put a sour taste on the current update that we're about to get because I'm super excited for it. But whenever the original, the semi update with this uniform, where we where we got this uniform happened, it was terrible. It's where they introduced the reforged CTPs. They introduced the, the card system, like all these things that were just paywall, terrible for the game. We had a, we ended up in having it. We ended up having a strike because of this. It was terrible which was a real shame because that update could have been amazing we got a lot of great characters in that update you know no we got carnage's new uniform we got venom here uh it was just there were such good things that were happening gwenpool here but unfortunately it was all you know dragged down because of what netmarvel done so Hopefully, knock on wood, they don't do any of that crap again. I don't really think they're going to. I think this is actually going to be a much, much better update than what we had. I, I don't really see how they could go any further down on what they did in the original Symbiote update. But this is lit. This is lit, guys. Finally, and I'm going to be tier 3 in this guy. Absolutely. I'll be tier 3 in him very, very soon. Getting him leveled up and getting him ready so I can start enhancing his potential whenever the update arrives to try to take him to tier 4 because I do love Venom. It's just, again, you know, at the time that, you know, he got his tier 3, I was just, I was pissed off. You know, I, I didn't. I didn't want to support the game at all. I ended up, you know, boycotting against the game. I didn't want to spend any money. And, I, and that, I did that for months, right? And a lot of other YouTubers did as well. And we were just all so disappointed. So this is Netmarble's chance to make up for what they did, you know, those two years ago, right? To make this a really awesome update. And giving this guy a tier four is amazing. And in all honesty, guys, I really like the look of this uniform, but his original look like what we saw in that sneak peek right it's the chef's kiss it is i love like his eyes glowing oh my god like and and then the sound the voice right you know i mean i can't even do it but it's just amazing right i was like oh my god so awesome and then the potential for all these other characters at the bottom here is amazing i really really pray i mean at a minimum that this guy here gets a uniform. I mean, they could give him a tier four, which would probably be astronomical as far as leveling up. I mean, just just think about it. Think about it, man. Think about how many carbonadium and life seeds we have to use to level up a regular native tier two character. Not even a native tier two character, just a native tier one character, right? This would be insanely expensive so i really would wonder if they're going to do that i mean i'm hoping they at least give him a uniform make him super godly because we all know guys like tier three can be more than strong enough look at kamala khan right they can be more than strong enough to get it done in super super high levels of world boss or maybe even in pvp right i mean Noel does have some things in his kit that does make him somewhat viable for pvp with the revive with the ignore targeting right but this thing's on a super super long cooldown but venom is really the star of the show right now i mean he's, he's probably going to end up being the star of the show period because when everybody thinks of a symbiote this is the first symbiote they think of it is venom super popular especially because of the movies uh carnage as well is actually you know pretty popular uh because of the second movie i mean he's, he's honestly popular amongst any comic book fan but i mean any of these characters guys mom morales could get a little something i mean that would be super
sick, especially with his passive. He increased damage to superheroes by 120%. It's crazy. And then whenever he has his uh, base kids, increased damage to super villains. I mean, there, there could be a lot of goodness in this update. This is really, really exciting. Uh, I just hope they make Venom, you know, a little bit more proc friendly. If I remember correctly, I think I don't think Venom has damage accumulation. I don't think he does. No, I mean, they did go with some things he did. But yeah, yeah, he's got accumulation on his tier three. So hopefully they will put that accumulation on his regular skills. That would be sick because you don't always have this accumulation up when you're playing with him. So if they do change that and put it on his skills, that would be a huge upgrade in itself. 1.5% is a huge accumulation. So I'm going to be tier 3 in this guy. I'm definitely going to be leveling up. That's the next thing I'm going to be doing. Guys, let me know what you think about this guy getting a tier 4. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GD plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See you, everybody.